actually just came out on PC yesterday slash today, which is kind of cool. Uh, I could probably take a bath since I just woke up, but it's nice enough. Uh, okay. So I slept for two hours, and now I have to go to the throne room. I arrived at Aether, um, so there's some palm trees here. And let's go to the throne room. I skipped um, the thunder draw. I was pretty close to being able to beat him, but Good, I don't know. The chief is in his let's just uh, continue onwards. Oh, they have some visions here. Let's activate the hollow projector. How exciting. Says joint force to neck, led by bodies. We are weapons for battle. Data point discovered. They leap to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. Before the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. That's cool. Alright. So they have like a, a museum in here. I like how like you could just wander in this game. I can't believe it's already out on PC, though. I'm glad I, I was able to get it on... Uh, what's it called? On console. Alright, so... Let's go to the throne room. Or... Let's activate this one. The ten sees the desert. Others fear their rage. Sand soldiers ripping enemy lines. What's this one about? Alright, let's head over to the throne room. Probably have to climb or something. What's this? I scan this. They seem a little extreme. It won't let me press R3 right now. There we go. Right, so here is a data corruption man versus machine. Exhibit shows holographic representations of all seven G sign battle drone models deployed during the conflict. JTF 10 rapidly made mockery of G sin's non lethal approach. In engagement after engagement, whether it was a surprise artillery barrage from the frigid slopes of Gold Mountain, north of Big Bear Lake, or a desert ambush near the solar plants in the Nevada desert, or a wingsuit jump into the jungles of Columbia to stop an attack on a rare Earth convoy, JTF soldiers repeatedly proved that state-of-the-art AI and newfangled weapons were no match for human cunning and data corrupted. That sounds like some Ghost Recon stuff. You could tell all the <laughs> all the Ghost Recon people had headed over to like Call of Duty and Activision. There's no way they made that many games. All right, let's scan this thing too. says, hi, Andy. Can you please inform uh, staff about the new closing protocols and opening? 
I've already briefed Dwight and Shania at Music. Thank you, Micah. Opening the gallery rooms. Holographic displays should be live 15 minutes before opening time. Inspect showcases for smudges and wipe with dry cloth if necessary. Inspect outdoor areas for temperature and humidity. Closing the gallery rooms. Make sure the cleaning robots have finished their sanitation rounds. Sign off on cleaning. Escort cleaners to staff rooms. Entrances. Final rounds. Head over to night security through music. Exit through the staff entrance. How exciting. So I can tap R3 and uh, scan for things. Add a treasure chest over here. Activate the hollow projector. 10 protected. Air control Romeo. 9, you are free. Engage. Good. Nice. In the jungle, sealed by darkness. Trap their enemies. Soldiers in a jungle. So I watched all the visions. They waited until the perfect moment to strike. Well, dude. How exciting. Exhibit allows us to hear their final moments. Using an interface donated by Sterling Malkit, we can listen to any flight recorder that employs the industry standard AR-FR encryption protocol. Simply place a black box in the interface to listen to its context. Please maintain a respectful silence as you hear the voices of the fallen. All right, let's talk to Antala. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with the voices of the old ones, but now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Osram Delver. The others were going to bury it, and then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage this worm. Wow. Copy that. We'll buy zero dawn the time you need. Wow. The voices of warriors from the past. The voices of warriors from the past. And the Osram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the ten. These voices came from the final battle of the old ones. Another battle. I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings. She claimed she had a way to locate them. The box with the voice data is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find, the, could others. It to find the others. Bring if you do, back. then bring them back here. I will see to it that they are treated with the proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. So, trade in the recordings at the top left. I've already found a recording. I'll take any you find. Let me give you something for it. So, I could buy. She's a black box collector. Um... So I could buy stuff from her. Blitherfang Earth Grinder. Thunderjaw Tail. Oh, I have one black box. It costs one black box. So. These voices will be kept here. Yeah, the black box I got from the plane before. I'll be on my I'll way. More of those recordings, I'll, I'll bring them back to you. Nice. So, that's kind of cool. I mean, sadly, there's no workbench in the area to see what I need to upgrade my uh, my stuff. But Alright, let's head over to the throne room. I'll just have to keep that in mind. That Aether, you can uh, spend black boxes. What's this? Examine Akaro Spear. The chief is inside. Are you the chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? So I'm going to say, I'm ready to see the chief. Good. Come. Check it out. So the chief room, he has an upwards pointed down airplane. How cool is this? Kind of want to get a screen cap of it. 
Oh, whoops. That was kind of fast. It's underneath the throne. I will see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces. I'm told outside. you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light and, and defeated, defeated her, champion Greta. her champion Greta in single combat. combat. This guy looks cool. Impressive. So this is, I guess, the chief of Aether. He says you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the this is some impressive um, details. You are here to pledge your service. That could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. You have named your price. Now, now I, I name mine. mine. With my cool. marshals dead, I need your spear. The car says, "With my marshals dead, I need your spear." Help me defeat. My Help me enemies. defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives nice. more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock. Whose lives hang in the balance, I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? Wow, what's stopping me you, you from try. me from killing you? You, might you could try, succeed. you might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. Wow. My way might hold off Regala and the My way chains. might hold off Regala. Okay. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals. Check out his shoulder pads, bro. Together. Pretty sick. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. Oh, they have a, a trial by combat called the Whole Rut. Since Regala seeks to undermine me. She is certain to attack it. I don't know who Regala is. Regala wants to kill me in front of the assembled so what, people. So what do you want me to be? Your bodyguard. Yeah. No, to defend the coal rat. Super cool. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north. Okay, so I have to go north and the force Tekatith, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold the cool route with For Hakara. I'm his hired spear. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light. So Katala will assist me. I already don't know the name of the dude. I sent him ahead on the northern village. Meet him there and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. What a difficult name. It's mostly the placement on the screen of the words. So let's ask about the Kolrut. What exactly is the Kolrut? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the Kolrut. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals. Okay. Sky Clan, Fashav, the chamber below. I'll go north. I'll do what you want and I'll go deal with the Tekate. But you better not forget. You will have what was promised if you succeed. Speak to Deca on your way out. Speak to Deca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Cool, dude. So, let's go speak with Deca. Now that I met uh, the king. Whatever his name was.
come, so to speak. Hikaru said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many I don't like, like the word placement the on the screen for remembering names. I have to like look out of my way. And, and I also don't have my audio on. Indeed. Head north towards north the foothills. Towards the foothills. Ascended, slope Ascended slopes your until your legs burn and the chill, and the chill catches, in your, catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in, the, you'll sky know you're in the, the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten. Strike true as the ten. Alloy. Oh, wow. So I got a cleaving sharp shot bow. Sharp shot bows are powerful, highly accurate, long range weapons. They have reduced accuracy when fired while moving and cannot be aimed while sliding. Shoot elemental arrows to detonate canisters of the same elemental type. So, so I got a, a clear sharp shot bow. So if I press the middle button, go to inventory. Here is my cleaving sharp shot bow. So 25% draw speed. I could add coils to it, edit coils, um, critical hit chance plus 10%. So let's add critical hit chance to it and I'm going to assign it. Let's hold down X to equip and I can put it over my strong arm hunter bow. Tier precision arrows are now available for one of your sharp shot bows. They deal high tier damage. Cool. Alright, so let's meet Catalo at the Stone Crest to the north. I better meet up with Marshall Catalo at Stone Crest. Unknown fire bristleback sight. Alright, let's try out the new bow I got. I got the cleaving sharp shot bow. Which lets you zoom in a little bit more. I can't slow down time with it though. So it did 69 damage. What's this place? On the fire bristleback. I don't know if these are like difficult to make as arrows. I assume not. Let's just down this dude from over here. Bone dude. Yeah. So you need machine muscle to make these. Uh, which is quite a bit instead of just Ridgewood. Okay. So I'll keep that in mind. Alright, let's take this out and go fight more people. I could always fight the Thunderjaws later on. So the Fire Bristle back. I only got three Machine Muscles back. And it looks like two. Two Blaze. Yeah. Coil Adhesive. Okay. So let's fight these uh, fire bristlebacks over here. This is much better than taking on like thunder jaws, right? You can fight more bulls. I go to the thunder jaws later. Because these dudes are way easier, right? Especially with the upgraded. Um, I was smart enough to get pushed around by the, the thunder jaw to upgrade my. Uh, shock bolt blaster. Jeez, this bull's trying to hit me with the torrents. This thing looks goofy. Did you see? Did you see in my uh, in my Destiny 2 video? Um, I saw that one dude with the bull, the bull horns. It's in one of my uh, Trials of Osiris videos. I inspected someone's armor and from like season three, I think they had like the bulls, like the white helmets with the bulls. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, let's pick up more health and head uh, north. Cool, so that they have like a nice waterfall on the way here. I assume there's probably some weapon upgrades somewhere with all this scenery over here. Oh, it is hot. Let's check the water. Uh. Hmm. I can't like swim lower.
Square, I think. Yeah, square puts you underwater, but... There's, like, nothing here. Circle this one faster. This game looks so good, dude. I'm jealous it's on PC now. Like, I don't know. Check out the waterfalls here, though, dude. Like, pretty sick. I mean, the, the PS5 looks mad good, so. There can't be uh, too much more visual fidelity. At least that I know of. This is like the best looking graphics next to FF16. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't really compare. I don't see any green shine splinters anywhere. My controller is rumbling. I don't know why. So it looks like there's some enemies at the top of the waterfall as you're heading towards uh, the north over here to get to Catalo. Yeah, let's climb up uh, to the left of the waterfalls. Cause there has to be like some type of item here. Unless it's just really nice visuals. I managed to find someone who can upgrade or sell upgrades uh, for black boxes. And it looks like there's like possibly a black box in this area. Like some of the planes just don't have black boxes in them. Alright, let's scan. I don't know if you could scan for green shine splinters. Jeez, I'm stuck in the water. Alright, here we go. This is just, just health. Oh, verdant bloom. Alright. How'd you guys know? Yo, check these things out. Alright, so... Told R3. Tag the target. And then press the middle button. So here's some wide maws, level 15. I'm still like level 16. So, I could fight these dudes on the way. Looks like they're reaching through their back. And their teeth. Are they hippos, dude? That's hilarious. Alright, so... so... I'm fighting a hippo. Check it out. It's weakness- oh my gosh. It's weakness is it's back and it's teeth. And it's belly. I'm glad I upgraded all my stuff. Because these dudes are pretty powerful. Oh, they throw rocks at you too. What a nice fight, dude. Yeah, the shock bolt blaster is mad good. Alright, let's uh try our forge fire trip caster. Because I assume that's pretty good. Alright, normal arrow. Save some of my shock bolt blasters. Oh, they could draw you in.
Yeah, just using the traditional arrows works pretty well here. So you don't have to like stress out too much. Shock bolt blaster. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so the wide maw, you get like 518 EXP for the machine kill. Uh, so you can see my level's progressing a little bit at the top right, which is kind of nice. draw me in. Thankfully he doesn't one hit KO you. What could his weakness possibly be? Let's try acid arrows. It's hard to overload him with acid. Try <laughs> Forge Five Fifth Caster. Yeah, it looks like fire is pretty good. Like he's on fire. For the wide maws, if you just shoot them in like the mouth, it it works pretty well. So I have a uh, elemental fury that I could use. I got some more stuff over here. The cactuses are worth a decent amount of uh, metal shards, so I'll collect them. For sure. Collecting any cactuses is relatively useful. So right here you have a, a decent... <clears throat> so obviously right now I'm heading over to the north uh, to meet Catalo after meeting with the, the chief over there. So over here there they have the wide maws and a lot of uh, medicinal uh, brushes or health or whatever. It's like northeast of this circle over here, and uh, this is where we were fighting um, previously the Thunder Jaws. So nice. Yeah, I'll just collect a lot of these cacti. Oh, here's a... They have wild animal here, too. There's one. And then here's a second one. So, that's pretty useful. They want to see my eye, I guess. Alright, so... Got one here. And the other one was, like... Over here. Unless it rolled down the hill. Cool, so I got Picari Bone. And Wild Meat. Oh, cool. So it looks like you have more wide maws over here. Let's check. R2. Oh, the fire bristlebacks. So you got more of the bulls over here. Um, is that a golden bird? 
Uh, so a little bit east, you have more bulls over here to fight near another campfire. There's like a bird too. I could probably shoot shoot it. All right, let's try to collect the bird. Let's see what it's called. Take out some more wildlife near the bulls. Bird went. Hmm. All right, so let's make more shock bolt blast ammo and take out the bulls. Oh, dude, he lit his horns on fire. That's crazy. Jeez, this upgraded shock full blaster can make up those little dudes. So I can press L1 to slow down time while fighting them. And let's reload. I just dodge a circle. Probably spending more to fight him than. To not fight him. Alright, so here's the triple kill. So I'm gonna go for a critical strike with R1. Nice. I'm just gonna fight him with normal bows so I can make more gold. I'm getting mad at EXP here, dude. Alright, it's... I don't know how to do the, the charge attack. R1, R1, R2, and then hold down R2. And with the charge melee, and go for a crit. You have to get up close to do the crit. While you see the symbol, and then press R1. Oh, dang. Alright, so, dang, whatever. Yeah, so the bulls in this area are pretty weak, a good way to level. Um, you could use like traditional bows on them. They have like the fire horns. And they're relatively easy to, to defeat. the canisters on his back, which does uh, quite a bit of damage in addition to its horns. Wow. That looks really nice. Alright, let's loot the other ones. Check it out, dude. Look how, like, contrasty it is. The sun, the setting sun looks mad nice here with uh, all the, um, the palm trees and stuff. That looked pretty cool. I got a, a decent amount of loot right over here. So let's run eastward to, I guess, this bonfire. I'm going to gather some medicinal sky brush or medicinal berries and some ridgewood. I 
imagine a, a Call of Duty with Nazi zombies and and like this setup. That'd be pretty fun. I mean, Nazi zombies is cool in general. I don't know about the the whole like 50 gigabit uh, update though. That's kind of crazy. I know the the 50 gig update for Call of Duty was a huge, a huge, uh, a huge concern. Just like playing, uh, just like playing Halo. Like, bro, if you're gonna, if you're gonna play the story, at least, at least play the story, right? These dudes are, like, pretend like they, they're gonna play the story. I'd probably fight the Thunder Draw from up here, dude. I don't have enough metal bones, though. So you could probably fight the metal, uh, the thunder draw from over here as well. There's another campsite, and you could probably fight him from over here. When you think about it. Okay. Let's knock this dude out with R1, R1, and then hold down R2 for a crit. Because you knock him down on the ground, and you go in for a critical strike with R1. Cool, dude. That works pretty well. I don't even know what I'm fighting here. But there's a ton of enemies, like, right here. Looks like burrowers or something. They still give you 904 for a kill, which is quite a bit. But there's a lot of them. This looks like the spike snouts or something. I'm trying to refill my berries. I don't have enough for Forge Fire Trip Casters. I guess let's set a blast trap. Oh, he hit me. Nice throw, dude. Like, for sure. Okay, knock that one out. I like how he's throwing rocks over a hill. Pretty good. This fight looks ugly. So I fought quite a bit of people at the top of this hill here. It's like pretty easy EXP. But I'm starting to run low on ammo. Nice, dude. 
Yeah, it is called the Spike Snout. Oh, there's another one, dude. I better not lose, because I'll lose all my EXP. Dude. This is a close one. Let's take out the other Spike Snout. At the top of the hill. Its weakness is obviously the colored stuff. That looked pretty cool. Oh, cool. So I found a metal bite over here. Only two. Which I used to... What I use it for? I don't know. I use it to craft something. I don't even know where these things... Where I defeated these things. It was a little bit more west. Yeah, so they have cheap metal bites here. Um, that's worth like 25 shards each. So that's like finding 100 shards for free. Which is kind of good. Basically making a ton, a ton from all these shards. Plug my uh, controller. Now that I charged it for like 42 minutes. Alright, let's see how much the birds give you here. Alright, so I knocked one out right there. back to the campsite. Has a decent amount of EXP. I guess south of the, the campfire over here. So, I think this one was a little bit... Was this closer? Yeah, I guess this is a, a really good area. And then this mountain to train. Uh, similar to fighting the fire bristleback uh, bulls over there. And over here. While you're making your way to this area. Uh, for that chief dude. I made a, a ton of gold. So, let's go fast travel over to Arrowhand. I could sell off um, some of the wild meat and maybe uh, buy more metal bones, etc. And check to see. Uh, what black box upgrade I could possibly use. Um, so I got one weapon upgrade, but it's nothing, nothing big. I got, where's my new bow at? 
uh, the cleaving Sharpo. So this needs two small machine cores, which I've sold in the past. And then it needs a, a snap maw sack webbing and a bellow back sap webbing. Medium machine core, braided wire, and a snap maw circulator. I think that was one of the the things that she sold for the black box. And let's check out the shock bolt blaster. You need a green shine fragments, I have three, and I need a green shine cluster. Okay. And the hunter bow, you need a, a burrower sound shell. So let's go check to see if the burrower sound shell is sold by that one person. Meanwhile, I'll buy more uh, fast or metal bones. Use it carefully so you don't stain your fingers. Okay, and let's sell off uh, some of the wild meat. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, auto reloaded. All right. So I'm going to fast travel over to the Memorial Grove. And I, I could check out the black box for a burrow where a sound shell to upgrade my hunter bow. So you just go to the east over here, and you could speak to uh, the person a little bit more east over here, and you could trade in your black box stuff. So let's speak with her, and let's skip the dialogue. So let's do trade in recordings, and She doesn't have a burrow or a sound shell, sadly. Um, she has large machine cores. We will honor the whatever. I'll be on my way. Nice. Place looks pretty cool. Honestly, I I don't know. Obviously, the cinematic looked way cooler, but this looks nice. I don't think there's any green shine clusters anywhere. I could scan this too, I guess. The F-38 Razor Wing is the only four surviving planes kindly donated to the museum by the Medina Society. Nice. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess Arrowhand's really out of the question. I didn't light that campfire. How did I not light this campfire? I totally did. I guess I have to light this, go to this one. That one's pretty far away too, so.
Do they just spawn back? And you could just keep fighting the same the same dudes. I could override bristlebacks now. Yeah, so the bristlebacks spawn back again. We can fight them again for easy exp. I assume there's just less of them this time. Alright, let's run through the area again, except at nighttime. Just in case, like, just in case you didn't understand what I'm doing. Oh, cool. Here's a fire gleam. Let's ignite it near the waterfall. I didn't see this during the daytime. It's west of the waterfall. Right over here. So, it's marked as a fire gleam on the map. It's a little bit north of the Bristleback site, north of the Memorial Grove, where we went for the Aether. So, we ignited the fire gleam, and we have an ancient valuables chest. So, we got quite a bit of gold here. That's a pretty useful symbol, I guess. Oh, they have a green shine slab, too. Right here. So, I got a, a green shine slab. I need a green shine cluster, though, for the this shock uh, bolt blaster. Final upgrade. But I assume the slab is useful for something, too. All right, so we got the hippos again over here. We got yeah, the hippos over here. So they spawn back too for even more EXP. Just gonna knock him out mad quick with the, the crossbow. One down. I'm not even using slow mo, dude. Alright, let's use slow mo on inputs. That was a ton of damage. So you press L2 and then click R3 to do slow mo and get that uh, crit damage. When it opens its mouth. like the damage mechanics. I like how it shot out like fusion coils. Oh, it's called wide ma. Right. So it dropped a lot of braided wire. Alright, so you gotta make sure you obviously let the campfire near them. Or else you can't get back here mad quick. But it's kind of worth it because they respawn. Lit. Okay. Hey, you guys remember bonfires, right? Bonfires equals lit. I mean, World of Final Fantasy was too good to play the original Horizon. I mean, the original Horizon, I got the, the shock traps on, like, the huge dinosaur thing. 
but it's like you're you're facing VR, Resident Evil 7, you're facing World of Final Fantasy. Oh, so you got more stuff over here. Oh, snap maws. Instead of wide maws. I guess they're alligators. Let's uh, examine. Yeah, they're alligators. Cool. Alright, so... Let's go fight him, too. I click in L2 and click in L3 for the alligator. And shoot its weak points. While that bar on the right is, uh... Not full. Alright, so the alligator could shoot you from far away. That's kind of cool, dude. Oh my god. At least I saved, like, right before I got to the alligators, right? So all that, all that other stuff counted. <clears throat> all right, so let's go fight the alligators. He's like taunting me over here, dude. Dude, my neck. Wow, dude, that thing just want to bite me. It's crazy. Press L2. Oh my god. L2 and R3 to slow down time. It looks like its top back is its weak point. In addition to its neck. And those blue things. That was a quick fight, dude. I don't even know what this thing is. I'm trying to scan it. Oh, this is a roller back. So it's like an armad a big armadillo, I guess. Alright, let's put a vertical shock trap here, I guess. I have no idea. I don't know why they won't run over here. Oh, this thing's gonna roll at me, dude. That's crazy. They have Sonic, bro. They put Sonic in this game. Is he gonna come over here? So these things on its back are its weak points, I guess. They have so many different things in this game. Alright, let's try the frost blasting on- oh my gosh. Let's try the frost blastling on like the sonic thing. Yeah, barely doesn't even work. Oh, so you use the metal bites on the the acid arrows. Right. Right, I'm gonna lead the alligator into my trap. 
There we go. Jeez, dude. Fireworks pretty good on the alligators. Oh, dude. 